know, after an incredibly windy and a little bit cool weekend, there is no telling what or who blew in. You know, by paying attention to the people that are around you every day, you just might make a little money cashing in on a fugitive tip or two. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Good to see you, sir. It's good to be back. It was definitely much better Monday than it was on Friday oh with that weather. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy stuff there. We, we, had, we had power poles down, uh, utility poles down. And you were working some Trees down, yes. Yeah, interesting morning. Anything you don't do. So you had uh, one capture. Yes, we did. And this was a... Uh, Last week, right? Yes, we did. Darrell I think it was last Taylor? Wednesday, yes, Darrell Lee Taylor was picked up, so he is no longer wanted. All right, so you've brought us a fresh list. Fresh list. Well, it's, it's mostly a fresh list. We got at least one repeat, actually two repeats on there because we're getting tips and one uh, repeat that we've put on a couple times before. And each time we put them on, we get tips that lead to his apprehension and he's wanted again. So we're gonna see what your viewers. So, so you, we're gonna see if your viewers can come through again. You're gonna place your bets today. Yeah, gonna place your bets. We'll see. We'll see who feels lucky. See if we can make, <laughs> see if we can make it happen again. Yes. All right. Take a good look at Richard Scott Baldwin. Yes, Richard Baldwin. Uh, we last asked him to have an address in the Berlin area. We want him in connection with a theft case. So if anyone knows where Richard Baldwin is, it's real simple. He's pick up the phone and give Crime Solvers a ring. All right, this is Shalanda Wynette Batson. Shalanda Wynette Batson. For any reviewers in the Parsonsburg area, if you know where she is or where she works, um, that's where we last know her to reside. We want her on a warrant that was issued in connection with a theft case. So if you know where Shalanda Batson is, again, just pick up the phone, give Crime Solvers a ring, and tell them where she is. And Batson's a pretty common name, so probably some family that knows about that one. All right, take a look at Khalid Ferris. Yeah, Khalid Ferris. We believe him to be right here in Salisbury. Now, we want him on some pretty serious charges. We have profiled him before, and we have got some tips coming in, but not just that right one that's going to lead us to him. But we have getting tips on him. Now, we want him uh, on rape charges, sex abuse of a minor, and incest. So if anybody knows who Mr. Ferreira says it, please, right now, go to the phone, call Crime Solvers, and you will remain anonymous, and let us know where we can find him. That's one you want to get. Yeah, we want to get him. Okay, Stephen Michael Smith. Stephen Smith, we last know him to have an address in Parsonsburg. We want him in connection with a drug possession case in DUI. So if anyone knows where Stephen Smith is, just pick up the phone, give Crime Solvers a ring, they'll get us the information and hopefully we will, you know, that'll lead us right to him. All righty, Brian Keith Taylor. Brian Taylor, we last know him to be right here in Salisbury. We want him a connection with the CDS possession case, a drug case. So if anybody knows where Brian Taylor is, just pick up the phone, call Crime Solvers. I, they're not going to ask your name. They'll send us the information and we'll get them brought in. All right, and I think we've seen this guy before, Eric Stephen Wilson. The yes, he was the one I was, I was referring to at the beginning of the show, Eric uh, Steve Wilson. Now, we know he's got ties to the Eastern Shore. We also um, are very familiar uh, with his ties to the Roanoke, Virginia area. And every time we profile him when he comes wanted, we somebody who always get information on where he is down in Virginia, down in the Roanoke area. So I'm counting on that happening this evening. Let's know where we can find him. We want him again. It's the same case, keeps popping up. We, we get him picked up and he, he comes into court. We, we give him a ride back here and then he doesn't show up again. It, it, this is a never ending cycle. Mm. So it's a never ending cycle. But the thing about that is, now here's. Every single time, that bond amount is getting bigger oh, it's and bigger and bigger. So it's it's eventually he's going to you know he'll be held without bond. All right. So you've, probably, you you've so. been talking about money uh, with the anonymous tips. That yeah. money does not come from the sheriff's department. No, it does not. It does not come from us. It does not come from any government agency. It's um, it is actually solely funded by donations from the community, mm -hmm. and it, it's it's amazing. Uh, we have fraternal organizations that donate money. Uh, we actually have people that have just made donations to us wow. because they like what, or made donations to Crime Solvers yeah. because they like what uh, Crime Solvers is doing in the community. So when you say it's an anonymous tip, you guys never uh, we, get that We have no idea. We have no, we have no ability to even call these folks back. We, there's no way we can do it. The only way I can, I can get back in touch with somebody is if I was going on your show here and say, listen, I need caller number so-and-so to call the tip line again. Right. That's the only way it's even possible and see if they even get if they even see that. But there's no way we can get in touch with these people. So they go through them. So yeah. that's so they, it's totally anonymous. So talking money, talking anonymous tip, you gotta do it by the phone. You've gotta do it by the phone. I mean we get tips. We get tips uh, through Facebook all the time. Right. Uh, we get tips called directly into our office. And then and they call us, so what about my money? So that's not how it works. You only get money if you call crime solvers. 
Um, but we'll take the tips anyway, whether you, whether you call in our office, you send through Facebook, or as I like to say, tag the wanted people in the Facebook post. That's, that's my <laughs> all-time favorite when those happen. <laughs> All right, but you the know, phone number is? 410-548-1776. And that phone number is going to be answered 24 hours a day. Always somebody there. Always somebody there standing by. Operators are standing by. <laughs> so. Senator Robinson, right. thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in. Now, if there's anything at all you'd like to know more about some of the fugitives you saw featured on today's Most Wanted Monday, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com.